back with another video. I'm back with another video. Come on now. I'm back with another video. I'm back with another video. Come on now. Hey, family. I'm back. I'm back with another video. I'm back with another video. Come on now. Come on now. Hey, family. How are y'all doing? Boss Mom is what? Back with another video. Video. Come on. Come on now. And today, family, I will be having some fried pork chops, pork chops, and some greens, some fresh greens. That look good, Donnie. That look good. So how y'all been doing, family? I hope everybody's been having a blessed, positive day. And I hope y'all ain't been letting nobody steal y'all joy. Don't let nobody steal y'all joy. Because boss mama ain't going to let nobody, nobody steal her joy. I love y'all so, so, so much. Thank y'all for all the love, support, the positive comments. Thank y'all for sharing my videos. Y'all are my soul family. Just know I appreciate y'all. Yes, I do. So, family, I'm about to send my grace and I'm about to get into it. Amen. Amen. Family, if y'all heard here a lawnmower, somebody out there cutting their grass. Y'all know y'all heard. Mm. 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 Never fail. Either it's the train or when somebody cutting their grass. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I think it's the main next door. Well, well, family, since you out there cutting his grass, you need to come over here and swing and cut my grass. You might as well. That's what I be going to tell him. Sir, you mind cut my grass? <laughs> He probably will mad because he's a nice neighbor. I can say I got some nice neighbors. I do. You know, family, it's good to be around nice neighbors. You know, they look out for each other. You know, if I go out of town, you know what I'm saying? They'll look out for me. Vice versa. You know. Every time they see me come outside, they always speak. I like neighbors like that. Because family. Mm -mm -mm. I done had some neighbors. I don't know. Ratchet, all types of neighbors. Mm -mm -mm. That's why. If anybody get an apartment, do not. When I say do not, move downstairs. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 
That was the worst thing I could have ever did. When I had moved into an apartment. And when I tell y'all family, I had some ratchet neighbors. I mean, oh my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because he got me from around there. He got me out of that apartment. Apartment. But family, them neighbors used to, mm, they used to party. So, oh my God. They were so disrespectful. I mean, I ain't care. I used to. I used to get off of work and come home and they ain't got no pocket space. I'm like, they know I live downstairs, so why would they have their company parking my pocket space? I mean, I had to knock on their door. Every time I come home from work, somebody was in my pocket space. And I was praying like, Lord, please. Please get me from around these people. Because, you know, people out there, they take over. They got them take over spirit. They think, you know, the whole apartment belongs to them when they don't. I mean, they have birthday parties. We're in an apartment. They have a birthday party. Mm -mm. I was crazy, but I thank God that um, I thank God I ain't got to put up with that mess no more. Mm -mm -mm. I even had to call the police. Like, you got that serious. Like, some people really thought they was, that that whole apartment was that. I had to call the police. And once I called the police, they knew I wasn't playing them. And, and they stop. Um, they stop pop popping. I mean, I said popping, parking in my parking space. But then they start parking in my parking space, family. But then they start stomping loud. One, two, or three o'clock in the morning. They got music blasting. It had got so bad. I had to grab me some of them earplugs to go in my ears. That's how disrespectful. Mm, mm, mm. No people were. But. I prayed. And I asked God. Please remove me from one of these people. And he did it. And I'm so at peace. Lord Jesus, thank you. I was in Walmart the other day. I was in Walmart the other day, family, and I seen the girl that was living upstairs from me. Mm. And she kept on looking at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know her from somewhere. She kept on looking at me. I'm saying in my head, you know who I am. You know. They was getting, um, after every uh, other week, their car was getting repoed. Like, every other week, like, a tow truck was in front of our apartment repoing their car or their truck. I said, they doing all this. They doing all of that. They got a car, every a different car every week. And then the repo man was out there every 
Every week he was out there picking them cars up. I said, I was wondering because that, I mean, they stayed at home like they ain't working. Can't be. Whole time. Whole time family. They was behind on their rent. The sheriff people stayed over there at their house knocking on the door. And they was playing it off like they ain't at home. I'm telling you. I was like, wow. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That chapter of my life is closed. And I ain't even gonna lie, family. Sometimes I used to be petty too. Cause they used to have the music bumping at like one, two o'clock in the morning. So five o'clock, when I get up to go to work and get myself together, four o'clock I begin up. I'll turn the music. I'm not even gonna lie. I said, Oh, they wanna be fun, I'm gonna be petty too. I would turn, I would have that music on until it's time for me to go to work. I would have it up loud. You heard me, I mean, I, and I got them big speakers. I would I had it up loud. And they ain't even care how they felt. I know they was like, oh, she was trying to be funny. Yeah, because y'all do that. Y'all be jamming and bumping and all this other stuff. But that chapter of my life is closed. It was real ratchet. Oh, my God. I mean, real ratchet. I mean, outside with shoes, outside barefooted, walking up and down the street. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. But, I ain't got to go about that no more. I ain't got to worry about it no more. I'm in a whole house, so thank God for this. Only stomping I can hear if I'm up in here stomping. Or my kids stomping, that's it. And then, family, when I was living in an apartment, I'm like, why everybody want to hang over my house for? Everybody want to come out, hang over there, hang over there. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Y'all don't want to hang over here. There's too much bumping and stuff over here. I think I had to be keeping my energy anyway. I had to break loose, you know? And once I moved family from where I was at, from their apartment, when I moved, I cut everybody off that was coming on my house, just hanging over there, and just to hang over there, to see what I got going on. I cut them off. I ain't gonna. I did. I cut them off and I set boundaries. I said, they not hanging around my house. Straight up. Cause some people just be around you just to, like I said, hang around your house, use you, see what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to be around people like that. Cause 
Und sonst hat sie noch mehr noch gehört. Now that I had to cut people out of my life, that didn't mean me no good, I'm so at peace. I'm so at peace. And I'm loving. I'm loving it. But, family, I'm not knocking nobody to live in an apartment. I'm just saying, if anybody looking for or have to move it in the apartment, don't move downstairs. I mean, anybody should know that. That was the worst thing I said yes to downstairs. The worst thing. So, you know. When you move a family, you don't want to be going all up in stairs. I'm like, oh my God. And then you, you looking like, I'm going to move downstairs because uh, uh. um, I don't want to call them groceries upstairs. You know what I'm saying? You be thinking of that stuff. But then, when, you, when somebody's family move over top of you, no, you can do You got You got to deal with it. You gotta deal with it. So. God is good because I ain't had to deal with that too long because I said like a month later I was purchasing my home. My first home I was purchasing. So because I was praying y'all when I was like because it was getting terrible I was like I don't want to have to fight down one of these you know what I'm saying I, I won't wait it. I won't whip none of that. You know what I'm saying? So. But. Um. I kept some mace on me. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't trust people. You can't trust people like that. You know what I'm saying? But once I called the police, they stopped. I had been through it. I had been through it and got through it. Thank God. And ain't going back through it. I'm not going backwards. No, I'm not. I'm not. I will not. I'm looking what's in front of me now. But that was just a story to tell y'all. You know? I mean, y'all see how quiet it be. It be quiet. And I love when it's quiet. I, I don't know. I just love when it's quiet because it's a piece of man. Oh, I love it.
Some people don't like peace. Some people got to be around people every single day instead of going. Some people can't be by themselves. You know, I don't know why, but I can. I don't have to be around a crowd of people. I don't have to be around a lot of people every single day. I don't. You know, because sometimes you need your own space. You know, some people got to urge you guys. No. Be around this person. Be around that me. Mm -mm. I love being by myself. And I do. I love every piece of it. Self-love is the best love. You have to love yourself first in order to love somebody else. You know? That's why I've been trying to tell people, learn how to hang by yourself. Learn how to be by yourself. You ain't got to always be around a crowd of people. Go around your home, girl, how hang around her every other day. Or You know what I'm saying? Be by yourself sometimes. I'm telling you, it's going to bring you so much peace and comfort. I'm telling you. Because I'm loving it. <clears throat> Woo! But family, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to all of my videos. And just to know, boss mama love y'all so, so much.